Um, I'm the chairman of the I'm the I'm the 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 I'm the 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 on recess, I'm presented to the leadership our draft medium term expenditure framework for 2023 to 2025. So we took some input, we went to the National Economic Council, and then we went to the Federal Executive Council. The Federal Executive Council has approved the MTEP, and Mr. President has conveyed this MTEP to the National Assembly. One thing that stands out in the MTEP was that if the nation holds on to full subsidy as it is designed now, we will be incurring from January to December a subsidy cost of 6.4 trillion. But we suggested to the Federal Executive Council and Council approved that maybe we could look at the option of exiting the subsidy half year. So if we did that, then the cost will be 3.3 trillion, which is 3.35 trillion, which is half of the 6.7. The Federal Executive Council approved the second option, so that is the option that was conveyed by His Excellency the President to the National Assembly. But let me also say that even though this is a reduced option, it will mean that we are borrowing more than we would have borrowed if we didn't have a uh, full subsidy. In 2022, we are carrying the cost of subsidy throughout the whole year. Recall that the initial MTA and approval by the parliament was for us to exit subsidy by June of this year. But during the course of the year, making assessment of the, uh, the, the difficulty, the difficult fiscal challenge in the economy and the hardship that our citizens were bearing due to high inflation and other challenges, we were asked to resubmit our uh, plans and review them to include provision for first subsidy throughout the year 2022. That's how come we came back to Parliament with an incremental expense from 443 billion, which we had planned, to up to 4 trillion naira subsidy expense in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in 2022. This situation is, is not desirable and it is not sustainable. It is putting the country in very serious, dire financial situation, and we do hope that we will be able to exit this subsidy uh, regime very as, uh, in, in the shortest possible possible time. The 3.35 trillion in the approved MTEP that is now before the National Assembly for consideration could have been funds that would apply to other vital sectors of the economy, such as health, education, and social protection. So we are carrying a burden that we must sit back as citizens and really assess whether it is, uh, it is beneficial for us to continue to do so. So that's just for me to preface uh, um, my presentation. And now I want to move on to the document that we circulated to the committee. Uh, in response to your letters of invitation to give information to this committee. And these letters that were, were sent to us both in July and in August, requesting for detailed in, uh, information on petroleum uh, subsidy in Nigeria for the period 2013 to 2022 from the ministry. Let me start by again commending the National Assembly, and in particular, this special committee for undertaking this investigative hearing on fuel subsidy regime in Nigeria. The issue of subsidy on, pre, on PMS is of great interest to this administration and, of course, to the general public. Therefore, engagement with the critical stakeholders, such as this forum provides to us, affords us an opportunity to share information and provide clarification on this critical national issue. Permit me at this point also to 
address the issues as highlighted specifically by this committee in the letters uh, that were sent to us. The, first of all, deduction of PMS on the recovery shortfall by NMPC for the period 2013 to 2022. We are reporting that there is a total sum of 4.436 trillion, which was deducted as PMS on the recovery by NMPC for this reporting period, that is to say, January 2013 to December 2021. And the table that I have uh, in the report I circulated, the table at Annex 1 shows the amounts that are deducted on each of the reporting periods, totaling this 4.436 trillion. B is a summary of uh, subsidy that has been paid to independent oil marketers from 2013 to 2016. And in this report, we are reporting the sum of 1.774 trillion naira. So it has been paid to independent oil marketers as subsidy from 2013 to 2016. And this also is uh, uh, reflected in the table that is provided showing the amounts that have been paid and listed, the details of which are listed in Annex two, three, four, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of the report. The total amount, again, is one for, for the Four years is 1.774 trillion naira paid to independent oil marketers as PMS subsidy for 2013 to 2016. From this, uh, it, I would like to call the attention of the committee to note that the total sum of 6.210 trillion, that is the 4.4 trillion plus the 1.774 trillion, was expended on PMS under recovery by NMPC as well as payments of subsidy to independent oil marketers from 2013 to 2021. Next, I want to uh, report on the funding of subsidy payments to independent oil marketers for 2013 to 2016. Payments that have been made to independent oil marketers for subsidy were directly from the domestic excess crude account through the redemption of sovereign debt instruments the, uh, that we call the SDIs for short. The SDIs are negotiable short-term instruments that were issued by government at that time to give marketers comfort and enable them to access financial support from their bankers for the importation of PMS. The instrument was approved by the then president in 2010, a detailed brief on the use of the SDNs for settlement of subsidy claims to independent uh, oil marketers, including the approval of His Excellency, the President at that time is attached to this report as Annex 6. It is also important to note that there were instances where funds were transferred from the Consolidated Revenue Fund to the Domestic Excess Group Account for Subsidy Payments. And these instances uh, are, are highlighted in the table uh, that is uh, shown as Annex 7 for 2015, 31 billion for 20, uh, sorry, uh, two instances in 2015, 31 billion from, from the excess, uh, from FGN excess domestic account transferred from the CRF, and then again in 2015, 156.1 billion transferred from the CRF uh, in another instance to the domestic. Uh, excess food account. Then in 2016, there was another transfer, again from CRF for 40 billion to this FGN domestic, uh, excess food domestic uh, account for the purpose of settling uh, PMS subsidy to oil marketers. In addition, there's also the sum of 413.363 billion which was provided through short-term funding by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The details of Mr. President's approval for this funding is also attached to this report as Annex 8. With respect to the transfer of funds by NMPC and its affiliates to the Treasury Single Account, the Ministry had obtained evidence as, as enclosed in Annex 9. The Ministry also is not in a position to provide statement of account of NNPC 
and its affiliate players, as this could be, uh, uh, we, we feel that the committee should ask for this directly from the NMPC. We don't have access to their bank statements. While, while hoping that the information that has been made available to the committee uh, today helps the committee in this assignment, I wish to also. Mr. Chairman, Minister, your team. I am Sergius Ose Ogun. I represent Eastern Northeast, Eastern Southeast, and Upper Middle States. Yes, President, Honorable Minister of Finance. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Honorable Chairman, and Honorable Members. Merci.